This is Marketplace from APM American Public Media. I'm Kai Rizdahl. Back in the day, Ford was all about hot rods. Now it's all about souping up its cars with electronic gadgets, stuff like voice-operated entertainment systems like a lot of companies have. Last week, Ford teamed up with Google in a project to analyze your driving habits and help you speed up your commute. The technological tie-in today is a little more serious, maybe even life or death, as Marketplace Jeff Horowitz reports. If you bought a new Ford in the past few years, you might have a voice command system on board. You can check traffic, call up your favorite song. You probably have not had it ask you this. Have you had your breakfast yet? That's from a Ford demo video, and it's asking because the guy behind the wheel has low blood sugar. But Ford's vision for diabetic drivers goes further than reminding you to eat your Frosted Flakes. Through a partnership with Medtronic, the medical device maker, drivers could essentially plug their bodies into the car. Here's Medtronic's Brian Henry. So you'd have a sensor, which would be sort of in uh, in your midsection, maybe a quarter-sized monitor or a sensor that's on there. This glucose monitor sends info to the car using Bluetooth. It's a matter of convenience and safety. Haiti Merritt admits manually checking her glucose while driving, sort of like texting, and she knows others who don't. That's way worse. I have uh, a friend who chooses to drive at levels that are unsafe. And then I have another friend who actually crashed into a toll booth because his blood sugar was so low that he kind of blacked out. Some diabetic drivers have concerns. Could the system prevent them from driving, even to the hospital? Could onboard glucose data be used in accident lawsuits? The makers have some time to address these. For now, the product is still in the pipeline. I'm Jeff Horwich for Marketplace.